It is my pleasure to introduce today one of my students, Alyssa Sampson, to speak to us. Alyssa is the kind of student who comes to Tyndale that faculty uh, want to come, a student who is eager to learn, who uh, is vibrant in her faith, and who is excited to be a part of a Christian community. Uh, Alyssa came to us uh, for the Leading Edge program and stayed on for four years. She was uh, in residence for two years. She was an RA. She spent a year abroad in Brazil in her third semester. Um, Alyssa took both of my required courses plus two elective courses, and I, I am uh, glad to have had her in my class. She's been a, an outstanding student. Um, Alyssa's parents met at OBC and married, and uh, Alyssa also met her future husband at Tyndale, and uh, they were married after Alyssa's third year. I remember talking to both Alyssa and Matt about uh, marriage issues prior to their, uh, while they were getting to know each other and engaged, and, and uh, Alyssa was in my Theology of Marriage class, and it's been uh, such a joy to, uh, to see these young people beginning life together with a determination to be faithful in the covenant of marriage and to bring God glory by establishing a Christian home. It's exciting to see students who are bright, articulate, and firm in their Christian convictions. This is what Tyndale is about. We want students to go out from here who by the strength of their character and the quality of their faith in Jesus Christ will be a force for good in whatever form of life God leads them to participate in. And so we're excited to have graduates like this and I know you want to give your attention. But let's welcome Melissa Sampson. Me for anything. 
I have learned over and over again how few resources I have on my own and how I need to rely on God always. Another lesson I have learned in our community is how much God loves his church. I have seen this by all the different kinds of people he has brought together in one place to be built up and sent out, equipped for the church today and for the future. Our grad class is evidence that God is at work with a plan to redeem a world that many think is too far gone to save. We are evidence that God is mighty and his love changes lives, and that the people he pursues are not only the good kids that grew up in Sunday school, but the bad kids that grew up in Sunday school. <laughs> and the kids that never darkened the door of a church. And the people who spent every day giving God the finger until he did a miracle that changed their heart. As a body, we at Tyndale have been through everything, and yet we have been called by God to learn and grow in him, and then take everything and continue it in the world. The experiences God has brought together through the lives he called to Tyndale include divorce, drug abuse, rape, depression, abortion, homelessness, promiscuity, death of loved ones, and self-harm. Together, we are a living declaration that none of these things can void God's faithfulness. And we are called now to take this message beyond the walls of our campus, to our churches and communities, throughout the world where there are people who feel ashamed and are hopeless that God can bring them through their situation. This is the power of the gospel, that God has made himself available to us. His grace and love are there for the taking. Jesus died so that no matter what our circumstances are, we can have his life. It is easy to get sidetracked sometimes when we don't see this power at work in our churches. And this brings me to another lesson I have been blessed to learn at Tyndale. There will always be Christians who drive us nuts. <laughs> For those of you who never lived in Res, this lesson may not have been driven home quite as intensely. <laughs> but I would be shocked if there is anyone completing their degree today who is always able to see all their peers with the eyes of Christ. On the bright side, every time I meet someone who I realize will probably drive me completely nuts, I try to remember that I am that Christian to somebody else, and that, like me, they are a work in progress. Reminiscing about how Tyndale had changed him, a friend of mine once said, if by the time you graduate, you don't look back on yourself as a frosh and either laugh at or want to strangle that old you, you probably haven't had the full Tyndale experience. Maybe this is why the cliche of coming to Tyndale for a spouse and getting a degree while we're at it keeps being fulfilled. <laughs> this is a place where many people realize that they are not as smart or holy as they thought, and that makes them not only so much more attractive, but also much better husbands and wives. It is the foundation of the gospel that we do not deserve the relationship God has offered us through Jesus, but he has made it possible. Our authenticity is more valuable to God than lip service, and if he has already changed us so much for the better when we were arrogant and stubborn and ignorant, Imagine what he can do now, but we know we still haven't needed. The builder of all things is God, and what God builds does not come undone. No matter what the future brings, we can live boldly for Christ and know that we are never alone and never beyond hope. May our lives continue to be testimonies of God's mercy, faithfulness, and love as he continues to build his church. And may we celebrate the miracle that we can now put letters after our names. Congratulations, class of 2011.